Hi there. Here's a short video concerning a weird CRT that I came across in the pile. And yes, I'm in the middle of the pile. I figured you guys are probably sick of looking at the dirty moving blanket. Yeah, I'll upgrade that soon. In any case, this thing popped up. Actually, I have two of them. It's a strange CRT with a thing on the front. Westinghouse. It's a special. You can tell from the WX number. That generally meant some sort of custom, semi-custom tube. This is probably a semi-custom tube. WX31559 PX55 is apparently the type number. Weird serial number. 7-7-002. The other one is still sealed in the box. I don't know what the serial is, but well, actually, maybe I do, because I do have some paperwork, a packing list. Mm, can't tell. But it is obviously some sort of government thing. And uh, I'm wondering if any of you guys know what this is. Now, it looks like a standard CRT from most angles you know it's got kind of a very typical typical base probably a typical pinna i have no data on this none at all and the phosphor i don't know it's it's i don't know what it is but it's not a super long persistence because it, it if i turn the lights on now it, i won't get won't get an afterglow like on a p7 but this weirdness on the front here i, I peeled off a little of the tape and let's see if this thing, I don't want it to roll and hit the floor. <laughs> Obviously it has this protective masking tape, which I'll put back. But there's something weird going on there. It's almost like a diffraction grating. That is not the phosphor that the rest of the screen has. I bet you that the, whatever application this was in, the rest of that phosphor just didn't matter. Almost looks like this was, what, for generating characters or something? One line, two lines of characters? Why? I don't know. But, as you can see, as you move... I don't know if it's a polarizing filter or diffraction grating. I don't know. And it's obviously very flat. You know, the well, the rest of the screen is too, but... It looks like uh, that subscreen is is purposely flat. Maybe it goes against some film to expose some film to something. I don't know. If any of you guys have any sort of clue, let me know. It's weird. It is really weird. I'm tempted to, uh, well, when I get my lab set up, uh, hook this thing up, give it some voltage, and... Uh, see what it does it it looks like it's in fine condition it came out of a box yeah like i said i've got two of them one's still sealed so you know i suppose i could uh risk damaging this one and still have another one which i will have no idea what to do with but yeah if any of you guys have any idea maybe any of you guys that were maybe in the military uh, i'm not sure when this was made let's see if we have a date on this thing here Ba, 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 ba. Um, no, I don't see anything offhand. It's a not a super old form, but uh, not real recent either. Identification label. Let's see what that says. Oops. nothing nothing i can really see so yeah if any of you guys that maybe were in the military worked with radar or countermeasures equipment or whatever uh, if any of you guys have any idea let me know because i'm really curious okay well leave any uh any ideas in the comments and uh if you like what you're seeing Subscribe, like, and all that kind of business. I'll keep making videos. Bye now.